Corey Whitton Calkins was born on the 30th of March, 1863, in Hartford, Connecticut, to parents Walcott and Charlotte. At the age of 17, they moved to Newton, Massachusetts. She later graduated from Smith's College with a concentration in classics and philosophy. She was a Greek teacher for three years at the Wellesley College for Women. She was interested in studying psychology at Harvard University. However, because of the strict limitations on women at that time, she could not be registered as a student there. Instead, they gave her a guest title, which allowed her to sit in on classes. During the time that she studied psychology, she began teaching the field at Wellesley College. Her first laboratory seminar yielded over 50 students. And several of her papers on dreams, paired association, memory, and self-psychology were published. Despite her knowledge, initiative, and competence in the field, Harvard University still denied her and many other women the degrees which they rightfully deserved. All that aside, Mary Calkin still went on to publish four books and over 100 papers in her career on both psychology and philosophy. She was awarded an honorary Doctor of Letters in 1909 and Doctor of Laws in 1910 and ranked 12th in a list of 50 top psychologists. Elected first female president of the American Psychological Association in 1905 and the American Philosophical Association in 1918, Mary Calkins led a full life. Well, until she died of cancer February 26, 1930.